welcome to tonight's reading. It is entitled, The Eleven Laws of God. The Law of Amen. You were made in the likeness of a peace that nothing can disturb. Reclaim your peace that you may attain to your reason for coming into existence, the enjoyment of life. Reasoning. If in truth it is our nature to be at peace, free from automatic emotional responses in situations of challenge, then the only thing we need to do is to ignore the emotional reflexes that come up in such situations. What is the point of suffering and destroying our health and performance abilities if we can be at peace, especially when the peace in situations of challenge leads to enhanced intuition and spiritual power? Amen truisms. I live expecting neither gain nor loss, pain nor pleasure from the things I need in life because my nature is essentially unconditioned. That which is myself has no likes, dislikes, preferences, or predetermined emotional or thought responses to situations. I am essentially unconditioned. I cultivate my happiness through spiritual development. I understand that happiness is not a continuous freedom from pain resulting from difficulties. No one knows my name. Neither men nor gods. No one has seen my face. Neither my father nor my mother. I was before the first time and shall be beyond the last. The Law of Asar. Your nature is unconquerable peace. Therefore, nothing or no one in the world can be against you. All experiences come to you to promote your reclamation of peace, that you may in turn acquire wisdom and spiritual power. Reasoning. If attaining our natural state of peace in situations of challenge enhances our intuition and spiritual strength, then we should not label situations of challenge as detrimental to our being. If a bad event cannot be avoided, what is the point of allowing it to degrade us when it can be used for enhancement by simply manifesting the proper attitude. Asar Truisms. I identify as myself, the indwelling divinity that guides the functions of my being. My person is therefore always in the presence of the Lord. Would I give more respect to men then to the God within who is witness to all of my thoughts, feelings, and actions. I am the one life dwelling as the self of all beings, myself as the indwelling divinity in all things is the source of prosperity and peace in the world. The Law 
of Tahuti. When all of your thoughts, feelings, and actions reflect the word of God, then the power of God's spirit and a peace that nothing can challenge will flow through your being. Reasoning. If we can intuit the word of God by cultivating our ability to be at peace in situations of challenge, why give in to anger, fear, lust, etc.? If we have access to the word of God, which is superior to our own minds, why rely primarily on our minds? Tahuti Truisms. My ability to know is unlimited. I understand that what seems as my not knowing is merely the momentary inability of my knowledge to take verbal form in my mind. I understand that God manifests its divine plan in the world of man by incarnating in the soul of men and women who have elevated their consciousness to the higher parts of their spirits. I therefore honor and follow the guidance of sages and prophets above all other kinds of men. I am successful in handling the emotional and sensual challenges in my life because I realize that nothing has an emotional or sensual quality in itself. My emotional and sensual reactions are betrayal of my lack of spiritual cultivation in relation to these objects. Until I can still my thoughts to let my wisdom manifest itself at will, I will go to the oracles that the eye that was harmed by Set can be restored. I understand that God has saved us by sharing its power of wisdom within us. I will be successful in its awakening because I have no problem in giving up my head and keeping my heart still. The Law of Sekhar. When the emotions of man manifest in response to the word of God, they have the power to influence the course of any and all events in the world. Reasoning. If we have access to God's spiritual power through the cultivation of the ability to be at peace in situations of difficulties, why give in to anger, fear, lust, etc.? Why shouldn't we be at peace in the face of difficulties? Sekhar Truisms. I understand that God has saved us by sharing its spiritual power within us. I know I will successfully develop these powers because I have no problem keeping my heart still and dying to the things of the world for the kingdom of heaven. I am the likeness of God. I have got the power of God within me. I am the power of God, not in amount, but in kind. Thus I am relaxed in the face of the greatest challenges I will succeed in life because I have surrendered to the divine plan. The law of Ma'at. God needs you 
in order to come into the world. Fulfilling God's need is the highest act of love. And only through your love for God can you fulfill your love for others. Become the love of God in the world for the protection of the world. Reasoning. If we have access to a peace that cannot be disturbed by anything in the world, our nature, if we are one with all, if we have access to spiritual power, why then can we not love those who commit transgressions on us, especially when the act of loving is the generation of the most powerful force in the universe? If we are one, then the good I do to you, I have done to myself. Is this not the key to wealth and health? Ma'at truisms. The divine law is the likeness of God and the measure of my being. I live by it. I am it. And I therefore enjoy a life of order and prosperity. I know truth. It is the reciprocal relationship of things to each other and the whole as fixed by nature. I live by it and am therefore in harmony with the whole. My being is in order and I am a source of harmony to all. The law of Herukuti. Know that God neither punishes nor rewards nor protects. That you will have the comfort of controlling bees for yourself. Reasoning. If adversity which cannot be avoided is not the cause of suffering that follows our failure to reclaim our original nature, then we must make spiritual growth our highest priority. If we are one, then I must refrain from doing you wrong. To avoid doing me wrong, the key to justice and protection from others. Erukuti, truisms. I realize that I have the power to force my person to ignore my emotions, to ensure that my life will be a reflection of divine law. I am not the person, but a sorrow, and can therefore transcend the pain of invoking divine retribution against my person when it transgresses the law of God. I understand that God has ordained a place for all beings in their own time and will thus in its own time right all wrongs. I sow justice towards men and reap it from God. The law of Heru. You have the power, but not the right to ignore God's law. Choose to follow the law of God with the love and joy that grows out of your understanding and the wisdom and power of God's spirit will flow through your being. Reasoning, if we have been given free will, why should we give in to emotions that have proven to be detrimental to our well-being? 
Why not choose to be at peace in all situations of challenge? Especially since this is the key to wisdom, power, and happiness. Heru, truisms. I understand that at any time I have the freedom to act as if I have successfully overcome a given emotion. My freedom to choose is the essence of my divinity. I will, therefore, I am free. I am never compelled to do anything by my emotions and passion. God does not compel me to do what is right. How then can the animal within me compel me to do what is wrong? Shall I make set greater than God? My emotions are children of impotent revolt. I have the freedom to hold myself in check, to take a view of the whole before acting. The law of Het Heru. It is not what you imagine. It is who is imagining. Are you a human or a divine being? Reasoning. Het Heru corresponds to one of the tools through which behavior is programmed. Through the understanding of the law, such programming can be done at will. If we have the tools to program any desired behavior at will, then we can choose to allow only peace and pleasure to manifest as our emotional reactions to all events. Het Heru Truisms. My ability to cultivate through trance the experience of joy for living by divine law as a sar does greatly enhances my chances of success in my pursuits in life. I will myself to be joyful. Therefore, I am successful in life and healthy. Joy is the engine of success and it comes from within. Therefore, I am successful. I am a sar. I cannot be other than joyful. I am joyful because I will myself to be joyful. The law of Sebek. It is not what you think or what you affirm. It is who is thinking and who is affirming. Are you a human or a divine being? Reasoning. See, that corresponds to one of the tools through which behavior is programmed. Through the understanding of the law, such programming can be done at will. If we have the tools to program any desired behavior at will, then we can choose to allow only peace and pleasure to manifest as our emotional reactions to all events. See back, truisms. I am well on my way to success because I understand the suggestive power of belief. I reject all negative beliefs and deliberately and consistently cultivate positive beliefs. My positive thoughts flow naturally from my being, a saw. 
I know that my spirit is essentially unconditioned. Therefore, whatever beliefs I take into trance, my spirit will make come true if it is at all humanly possible. I do not delude myself into mistaking my education for knowledge of reality itself. My way to success remains open. I am well on my way to becoming a Sar because I no longer mask my motives through rationalizations. I am that, therefore, I think. The law of our set. Prepare to sacrifice everything to become the vessel of God on earth. And you will, in turn, receive everything. This is devotion to serving God. Reasoning. Our set corresponds to one of the tools through which behavior is programmed. Through the understanding of the law, such programming can be done at will. If we have the tools to program any desired behavior at will, then we can choose to allow only peace and pleasure to manifest as our emotional reactions to all events. All set, truisms. I know that I am devoted to spirituality, for I have given the highest priority in my life to the resurrection of a sar. I am the master of my person. Through trance, I can cultivate any emotion I desire to manifest. My ability to cultivate the experience of remorse at will and to apologize in any situation of transgression assures me a solid foundation in my quest to become a Sar. The Law of Geb. Know that from heaven you came, and to heaven you will return. Seek not enduring works on earth. You are the master of the earth. Through your likeness with God. Reasoning. Our physical nature is totally amenable to reprogramming. Since we have the laws and faculties to do so, why not dedicate the use of our will to program desirable ends in our lives? Peace, happiness, health, and prosperity. <laughs>